Welcome to MSP TDA video number 30. Yes, Microsoft Power Tools for Data Analysis. And in this video, we got to see how to deal with a fact table that has two date columns. Yes, we have an order date and a ship date, and we need to build reports based on each date. Now, last video, we used Excel worksheet formulas. This video, we want to see how to do it with data modeling and DAX formulas. Now, for the Excel example in this video, there's the file you want to download. And for the Power BI desktop example, here's the file name. Here's a picture of our fact table. We have order and ship date, and there's the sales column. And we need two different reports, order sales, ship sales, side by side. But then we need a cross-tab report where we take ordered sales for 2019 and break it apart into the ordered sales that were shipped in 2019 and the amount that was shipped in 2020. Now in this video, we're going to do the first report in Excel, and then we'll do the second report over in Power BI Desktop. Now here's the finished side-by-side -side report. In the fact table, I want order date to slice this table so that sales are calculated for 2019. But then I need ship date to filter the sales column to give me the shipped sales for 2019. Now here in the Excel start file, I'm on the data side by side sheet. I have the fact table, and over here I have the date table. I've already imported them both into the Power Pivot data model, so I'll click Manage. I can see I have both tables. I actually do have a measure adding up sales. We go over to Diagram View. There's no relationship between these two tables. And what we'd really like for a side by side report is I'd like to have this date column connected to order date, and then a second relationship connected to ship date. Well, we can do the first relationship. I'm going to drag date to order date. We can clearly see we have that relationship right now. Because the relationship is connected to order date, order date will slice total sales, and we'll get the correct amounts for ordered sales. If we create a pivot table, and I'm going to use the button over in the Power Pivot window for pivot table, existing, collapse. That's fine. Click OK. Click OK. From date, if I drag year down to rows, from F sales, total sales, it does not have the correct label at the top to tell us that these are ordered sales. But those are the correct amounts. So if we have a single date in the fact table and a date table, everything works fine. Alt-Tab, if I could simply drag date over to shipping date. It would be perfect if I could create the second relationship, but it's telling me, no, I can't do that. Click OK. Well, we can do it if we go up to Design, Relationships, Create Relationship. For the first table, I'm going to select Sales. And this time, I want Ship Date. And the second table is Date. And I'm going to use the same column. Now, if I try this, it will not work. But I'm going to uncheck Active. And when I click OK, Look at that. I get a dot, dot, dot relationship. That dotted line means it's an inactive relationship. And that inactive relationship works with a special DAX function called use relationship. Home, data view, down below total sales. We'll call this ship sales colon equal sign. And we're going to use the calculate function. And I can either create the sum measure again, or I could just use that measure right there. And I can use the measure by simply selecting. Calculate can change the filter context. Remember, automatically, order date is filtering total sales. But now we do comma, and in the filter, we use use relationship. Now, use relationship can only be used inside the calculate, and it works specifically with that dot, dot, dot inactive relationship. Now, there is an order to the columns. And if you go read help, it says always put the foreign key and then the primary key. But it's so funny. Right in help and built in the code for use relationship, if you put them in the wrong order, use relationship is programmed to put them in the right order. So I'm going to say F sales ship date. And that's the foreign key, comma. D date, that's the primary key. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and Enter. Looks like we get the correct total there. Add some number formatting. Alt-Tab. 
Over here, I see ship sales. I drag it down. And now that total sales measure is using the inactive relationship. Now, I don't like that name there, Alt-Tab. Up in the formula bar, ordered sales and enter. And now we can see we have our side-by-side -side report, where ordered sales is using the active relationship, and ship sales is using the inactive relationship. Now our next report is a cross-tab. And a cross-tabulated report needs the same measure for both date attributes, whereas up here, we had a single date attribute from a single date table. We had two relationships, and then we could access the relationships differently for two different measures. But down here, what are we going to do? We have a single measure. The solution is going to come from creating two date tables. We'll have a date table for order year and one for ship year. Now here's the Power BI desktop file we're going to use. And these two tables are imported from that Excel file we just used. Now when you download these, as we saw in an earlier video in this class, since these came from a file on my computer, when you download the files on your computer, the queries in this Power BI desktop file are not connected. I added a parameter. So you can simply come up in this start file, go up to Edit Parameters, and you put the file path here for your computer. All right, so we have to create two date tables. I'm actually going to do this in Power Query. Up here, I'm going to click Edit Queries. There's the parameter. Here's the date table. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name here. I'm going to say D-Date Order. And I want to add a column that has our attribute, but not just year. I want it to have a prefix of OY for order year. Now, I could just go up to Add Column, Add Custom Column. This is a simple formula. But man, Power Query is so amazing. I select the column, up in Add Column from Text. I can say Format and Add Prefix. Type OY and a space, click OK. Now I have an informative label I can drag into the row area. We want to rename this. So up in the formula bar, table.addColumns, I'm going to double click the second argument. And instead of prefix, we'll call this order year and enter. Now I want to copy this date table so we have a ship date table. Right click, reference. Anything we do here will be reflected in the second query. F2, and we want to name this. We'll call it. D date ship and enter. Now I don't want order year, right click remove. And with year selected, add column from text format and we'll add a prefix. SY space and enter. Up in the formula bar, we don't want prefix. This will be called ship year and enter. Now we have our two date tables. We can go to home, close and apply. Close closes Power Query. Apply sends these to the data model. Over in Relationship, I want to create a relationship. So date over to Ship Date. It looks like it did not do what we want. Right click Properties. Here's our one to many relationship. So we'll have to change this to one to many. And I do not want it flowing both. I only want it from the Date Dimension table, having the filter flow to the Fact table. So I select Single, click OK. Now we've done our data modeling. We can create a single measure and have order year and ship year filter from two different date dimension tables. Over in Report View, click in the white over in Visualizations. We want matrix from order date, order year down to rows. Boy, look at this new white user interface in the latest update in Power BI Desktop. I like it. From D date, ship year. And over from Sales, check the measure. It's down in values where we want it. I want to format this grid. We'll say like 15 points. And there is our cross tab report using two different date dimension tables. All right, so in this video, we saw how to use two date dimension tables when we want a cross tab working on one measure. And over in Excel Power Pivot, we created two different relationships from a single date dimension table. One of the relationships was inactive. And we wanted two different measures side by side. And of course, we accessed that inactive relationship inside of Calculate using Use Relationship. 
All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.